In order to determine whether displacement was caused by tensional, compressional, or shear forces, you'll need to be able to identify and accurately refer to the different blocks of strata that you're looking at. There's two specific terms that we'll be using. One is the hanging wall block, whilst the other is the foot wall block. There's a few different ways to remember them, but the ways that I use are to look at the ramp that is formed by the fault line. I'm calling it a ramp for a specific reason and that'll come up in our following videos, but it should be able to help you out. So if you think of that fault line as a slide or a ramp, whatever is on top of that ramp is hanging on to that incline and you'll refer to that as the hanging wall or the hanging block. Whatever is underneath the ramp or standing under the ramp is referred to as the foot block or the foot wall. So the one that is above the incline is hanging, whilst the one below it is the foot wall. It doesn't matter if your displacement has the hanging wall lower, whilst the foot wall is higher, as long as something is on that slide or that ramp, if it's above the incline that is created by the fault, regardless of which way it is turning. If it's above it, it's hanging. If it's below it, it is the foot.